Yo, 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 bros, what is going on? It's Reaper, and we're back with another video, and we're going to have the PlayStation 4 info now coming up. If you guys didn't see my Xbox One, uh, E3, and other new info video I put up a few hours ago, you guys are definitely going to want to go check out that one. Um, so definitely go back to my channel and watch that one uh, before this one, I guess, or watch it after this, doesn't really matter. But um, I'm going to be having a comparison video where I compare both of them and put my opinions on coming up a few hours later today. So um, you guys can look forward to that too. And then I'll be doing exclusive games and stuff for the consoles and stuff like that. And, you know, the gaming side of stuff um, over the next couple days after today. So um, but let's get into the PlayStation 4 info that we found out at E3 and just more stuff that we know now. And um, they haven't. Um, they actually had a pretty good conference. Um, I guess it was better than Xboxes, I would have to say. And um, they definitely revealed some Sue. Some Sue? Some new stuff. But, um, so here's what we know. It's $400, um, which is $100 cheaper than the Xbox, but it doesn't come with an eye motion sensor. Um, the eye motion sensor and move controllers are sold separately, which, you know, is kind of why it's $100 cheaper than the 360. I would, 360? Then the Xbox One is what I would, uh, think. So the eye motion sensor is kind of like the, their version of Kinect, I guess. Um, another thing we learned, PlayStation 4 allows unlimited offline gaming and no online connectivity required. Sony's cloud services um, have not been detailed yet, so as you find out more information, guys, I will make sure I let you guys know, um, so you definitely want to subscribe and stay tuned for that. Um, Sony will not restrict the sale of used PlayStation 4 games, nor will it prevent sharing your first-party games. Um, they have also improved uh, media services like Redbox, um, Instant, and Flickster as well as original programming but it's not going to into huge detail about that stuff and it has not disclosed whether it will have a TV integration feature like the Xbox One and um, you know other than that what we know is that it's going to be a bit more powerful than the Xbox One it, uh, the RAM is a little bit more powerful same amount both systems have 8 gigs but it's going to have uh, GDDR5 I believe instead of DDR3 so it's going to be a bit more faster RAM and a bit more faster graphics processor which is obviously good for gaming <clears throat> good for gaming so that's what we know right now guys for the PlayStation 4 any new information I'll make sure um, I'll keep you guys informed on that stuff and uh, I'm gonna be doing an opinion video later on uh, where I talk about what system I'll probably be getting first I'll probably get them both but what system I'll be getting first and kind of the ups and downs of both systems and how they compare to each other so look forward to that video later on guys hope you guys enjoyed and um, hope you guys enjoyed the pictures of the PlayStation 4 it looks pretty sick if I had to say so myself but I'm just pretty much hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys later peace yo guys I did miss one piece of information you are also gonna have to pay um for a multiplayer like uh, PS4, PSN network uh, membership now, so you're not gonna have to pay to play multiplayer games. Um, like pay, I think it's cheaper than the Xbox still though. I think it's still gonna be, still, I think it's gonna be like five dollars a month or fifty dollars a year, something around that. So it's gonna be a little bit cheaper than the Xboxes, but you are gonna have to pay now. So um, I just thought I'd throw that in there for you guys too as well. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, don't forget to like the video and I'll see you guys later.